this band thinks that almost all the traditions of folk music and culture are worth exploring. Charming Hostess, a band uniting musicians from Israel and San Francisco, gave a concert in Moscow. Mikhail Kochikov was there and sent us this report. One of Moscow's top clubs among students and those eager for political and social debate had something unusual this evening. A live performance by the Chamin Hostess, a band uniting Jewish musicians from Israel and San Francisco. This concert is part of a school project. We're trying to show the uh, very wide range of modern tendencies in music and uh, contemporary art. Uh, not only uh, from Israel, but also uh, Jewish art from different countries, from states, from Europe, from wherever. German hosts refer to the music they create as radical punk punk, an unusual mix of folk music, instruments from around the globe, and powerful female voices. There are three singers in the group, yet only one was there this evening, but the most important one. I like to describe my music as uh, music that is where a, a place where text, where words meet the sounding body. So I'm very interested in how words can meet the body and the voice, and particularly in the way that um, Jewish and African diaspora paths kind of cross and move around. So that, those are the influences that I'm particularly interested in and that you can hear in my music. Two months ago, Julia was in a serious motorbike accident. No one knew whether she'd ever recover, but here she is with her latest album. <laughs> this time the group presents the Boss Project, a performance based on inscriptions from Babylonian amulets. People used to leave their thoughts, hopes and cravings on simple clay balls and bury them in the ground on the territory that is now Iraq. What's really interesting about these bowls is that they represent one of the only, um, one of the only representations of, of women's voices from that time period. Now the century-old messages have been raised from the ground, and Julia voices them to audiences eager to hear, just like the one in Moscow. Mikhail Kochikov, Russia Today, Moscow.